Our moon is the sole natural satellite of Earth and the fifth largest moon in the solar system. Our world is significantly impacted by the moon. It makes Earth more habitable, regulates the tides, and stabilizes the climate. Some scientists even believe that planets need bodies like our moon to host complex life. Given the significant influence the moon has on earthly life, what would happen if it got closer? Or even if it fell and crashed into our planet? The good news is that the moon is rotating away from Earth at a speed of 1.5 inches, or 3.8 centimeters, per year. This rate hasn't been constant, it has increased during times when the climate on Earth changed, because the freeze and melt of glaciers affect the tides that exert gravitational pull on the moon. In those dramatic periods, the moon instead drifted away at a rate of 2.75 inches a year. Though this sounds slow, eventually, all this drifting will add up. In 50 billion years, the moon's orbit would grow from just over 27 days to 47 days. The bad news is if we fast forward 65 billion years there's a chance the moon will alter its course and accelerate towards Earth. The reason is that the Earth's orbit will eventually slow to the point where it's the same as the moon's orbital period, which will gradually drag the moon inward. Even if it occurred gradually, it would still be extremely harmful. Coastal cities such as Tokyo, New York, London, and Mumbai would be submerged by enormous waves as the moon approached. If the moon's distance were cut in half, these tides would become eight times greater than usual, and this would not be a one-time thing, either. The closer the moon gets, the scarier things get. The moon would fill up half of the sky at a distance of around 1,341 miles, which is roughly equivalent to the International Space Station. Mile-high tides would swell around the Earth several times a day, killing everything in their path and repeatedly bringing the wreckage inland. What's worse is that this would happen every 90 minutes, since a moon at that distance would have a much faster orbit around Earth. If that doesn't sound bad enough, remember that there will also be massive earthquakes, volcanic reactions, and an increase in the core temperature of the planet, since the nearness of the moon would stretch the Earth toward it. If all the melted magma ended up released into the oceans, we could see the water simply boil away. But even if you somehow survived this apocalyptic calamity, the moon might not. Once the moon reached a distance of 11,470 miles above our planet, it would be at the Roche limit. By this point, the tidal waves on Earth would be about 30,000 feet tall, so nothing much would be left of life as we know it in coastal areas. As the moon got closer, it would have also affected the rotation of Earth, shortening days and affecting temperatures, making a new ice age very much a possibility over the long term. Once the moon reaches the Roche limit, it's all pretty much over. This is the point where tidal forces are stronger than gravity, meaning more forces are pulling the moon apart than holding it together. Soon, the moon will shatter into pieces and, at least for some time, these pieces will form a stunning ring around Earth, much like the rings around Saturn. But the ring won't last forever. While there's not much risk of the entire moon crashing into Earth, pieces of debris will eventually start falling to Earth, destroying cities, causing massive craters, and potentially destroying all life on Earth. Fortunately, this will not happen shortly. That's it for today's video. Stay safe and healthy.